what's up welcome back to my channel my name is precious and if you're not subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and click the link <laughs> click the little um, bell to get notified when i upload more videos yes i'm back on the floor i keep forgetting to order my freaking ring lights and i hope i remember to order it when i'm done <laughs> right now but uh today i have a very 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 entertaining video for you guys this video has been highly requested and i feel like i have somewhat answered it but i feel like people just really want to really like know um like want it they want me to get in depth in depth i don't know how to say it i have an accent anyways so they want me to get really into it and um here i am so the question that i've been getting asked the most was how was i able to gain 50 pounds without gain gaining it in my stomach area and first things first i did gain weight in my in my waist like my stomach area um i remember before i started like gaining weight and stuff my my waist was at 23 inches and um right now it's like at 26 so i did gain like three more inches on my waist so i did gain some but i feel like for 50 pounds it pretty much like um it like went everywhere rather than just my stomach um and uh yeah you guys are really interested how i was able to control where my body fat went and yeah i'm gonna get into that too. so first things first my body type is super super tiny i have a tiny body frame um i'm 411 and throughout my whole life i've always been like skinny like super 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 skinny um if you guys don't know who la morsa is <sighs> unfortunately that used to be my nickname that they gave me from elementary school to middle school and um like i said i was super super skinny my entire life i've always tried to gain weight but my body unfortunately never never worked with me <laughs> and um yeah so it was really really hard trying to gain weight um the first time that i started seeing weight gain was maybe i'm really bad with time but if i'm wrong um i'll put it right here but i believe it was 2000 17 when i started my weight gain journey well i've always wanted to gain weight but the, the time that i saw weight gain i started seeing like like a uh, weight what is it like i started gaining weight in 2017 and this was like two years after having my daughter so like something that really like triggers me is when people try to say like oh you started gaining weight because you had a daughter or oh like your body changed because you had a daughter it's like no when i had my daughter my body was like in the worst like not the worst but i had lost the most weight i've ever been like since like elementary school i was weighing like 67 pounds i was really really tiny um my daughter was already like two two years old <laughs> it's a, it had already been a long time since i had my daughter my body wasn't changing i couldn't gain weight like nothing changed after i had my daughter if anything my boobs just got saggy and like that was it like that's the only change i ever got from my pregnancy i didn't even get stretch marks um i didn't get a butt i didn't get hips like nothing changed at all if any that was two years after having her so i know that if i didn't push myself if i didn't do what i did i would have never ever like had my body this way and um, yeah, I just want to get that out the way because a lot of people think that um, my body changed due to me having my daughter or due to like like my family genes or um, my age. But I truthfully, honestly, don't think so because when I stopped working out for a long time, like like you could see, like I could tell that um, my body like just wants to be skinny. It really does. <laughs> it really does. I lose like five pounds overnight. But um, yeah, anyways, let's get to the main thing. When I started gaining weight, it was back in 2017, and this was before I ever, I ever like, rut like routinely went to the gym because I did used to work out at home, but it was like, like small little workouts and stuff. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel of the workouts I used to do, and honestly, I did see a little bit of muscle definition coming through, but I knew I wasn't, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to see more progress because I needed to go heavy. And um, if I wanted to eat a lot, I felt like I had to equal it with like how much, like how hard I go into the gym because if I didn't go hard, I wasn't gonna be able to burn that much the food that I was eating. So I knew that if I was gonna eat a lot, I had to really, really burn down the fat or make it into muscle, you know what I mean? So yeah, 
before I even started going to the gym, I did start seeing some weight gain, but because I was taking mass gainer and I was eating like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a mass gainer shake before going to bed. But the thing about it was when I was doing that and I was working out at home, um, my weight started getting really, really big. Um, I feel like my body was like shaping into like a square body. And um, I did see, I did, like I gained like, I believe like eight pounds and I could already see that it was all going to my waist. So I automatically stopped. I started eating clean. I was still taking my mask in but I was like, you know what? I need to go to the gym because the amount of eating that I'm doing, like the amount of like food I'm taking in is too much and I need to find a way to either make it into muscle or burn it. So um, I started going to the gym and I started, I started pushing myself to go heavy. Um, and like the machines that I would use, I would, I started off with like at least 20 to 40 pounds in each mach machine. And like, um, that was the first time me ever like using, um, like going to the gym and actually like going hard because I would go to the gym before, but it was just like to go with friends and stuff and I would work out, but it wasn't nothing serious. But as soon as I started going to the gym, I automatically started going heavy. I went from like, from home workouts to lifting 20 to 40 pounds per machine. And it sounds like, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it was. And um, after each week, I just kept adding five more pounds, 10 more pounds, five more pounds, 10 more pounds, de depending how much I could lift. And meanwhile, I was doing that at home. Um, I, like I said, I started eating healthier. I started eating like chicken, rice, broccoli like I was literally I literally ate that for like two years straight <laughs> I would eat chicken broccoli and rice mm -hmm. or sometimes and then like for dinner I would eat like pasta chicken parmesan um like chicken enchiladas spaghetti like stuff like that something more like with carbs loaded with carbs and um yeah that's what I started doing for like um my first year so my first year I started going a little bit heavier at the gym and then I changed my diet and I would I would take like mass gainer for the entire year I started taking mass gainer and my second year of working out um I I believe my first year I gained around like 15 to 20 pounds and um I think 25 pounds so I was really really happy with my progress I was really I was way more confident I was happy with my results and I felt like I felt like the thickest person ever, but I was still skinny. And then, um, since I was happy at that weight, I started deducting like the chicken and broccoli and stuff, and I started eating something more, um, like something with more carbs. So I would eat, say, like a sandwich with chips and stuff like that. I would eat protein, a lot of protein, but like a lot of carbs too for lunch. And then for dinner, I would eat, um, again, like pasta. That's pretty practic That's practically what I eat most of the time, like pastas. It's just I love, I love pastas, and um, it has like a lot of protein, so might as well. And I do eat like Mexican food. And Mexican food has like a lot of beef and a lot of chicken, so I would just eat that. And then I switched my mass gainer to protein. So I was just taking protein and I was eating my three meals a day. For, for breakfast, I would eat like chicken and sausage or I would eat like ham and egg. Just like uh, super, super simple. It was very bland, but I mean like, I really wanted to see if I could gain more weight or like more muscle, so I would just force it. And then I would eat like for lunch, I would eat like Sometimes meal preps or just like I said, like a sandwich with chips. And then for dinner, I would eat pasta as well. And at the gym, I think during this period of the, of, during this time, I had, I don't know how or why, but um, this is one of the times that I was lifting super heavy. I probably lifted, I did lift way more than what I'm lifting right now. I was lifting around 200 pounds to like, 800 pounds and a lot of machines. I was lifting super heavy. I don't know how or why how I got the strength, but I was lifting super super heavy Feel so with the heavy weights I feel like the heavy weight really really helps you or like it helped me and my body type um, I feel like the way I was eating was like a lot of carbs. So What I do I never eat after the gym. I always go to the gym at night. So after I'm done with the gym I don't eat at all. I did take my protein shake but um, how do you call it? So I would carb up before the gym, and what this allowed me to do was it helped me. It helped me like be able to lift heavy, like super heavy, without feeling dizzy or anything, and it kept my stomach full, so I didn't feel weak at all. And um, 
I don't know why or how, but um, I feel like since I just work out my, my legs, I never do upper body. I feel like my my leg muscles are like always like hungry, like for food since like I'm always working them out. So um, I definitely feel that since I don't work out like my upper body, it was way easier to grow my legs because um, my muscles were like feeding for like food. So all the food that I would eat would, I feel, I feel like it would automatically go to my legs. So that's why I probably didn't see a lot of like weight gain on my waist. And um, yeah, I feel like that's what helped me like my second year, it, it, uh, it um, what do you call it? it? It helped that I was going like super heavy and like, I would like carb load before the gym. And um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are understanding me or getting it. I really hope I'm like trying my best to explain to you guys what I was doing. Um, and then for now, like I'm 130 pounds now and what I do to maintain my weight or to get bigger, like I said, I do exactly what I did like my second year working out. I'm almost at three years of working out, so I'm like at two, two and somewhat like months of working out. But what I do now is um, I I still I still carb load. I I don't watch my diet as much. Like I like I haven't ate like meal prep in such a long time, and um, I still eat pizzas. I eat hamburgers. I eat, I eat a lot of stuff now and I um, I make sure to eat the most when I'm going to the gym. So say like Mondays I go to the gym. So I carb load the whole day because I go to the gym at night and I go super hard. Every time I go to the gym, I take at least two hours and then um, I still go heavy. I don't go as heavy as I used to, but I still go super heavy. Um, and then for like, for like Tuesday, I, I still eat good and I still eat carbs, but I make sure that it's not like like too much because I feel like right now I'm at a stage where if I even gain like five more pounds I'll probably I'll probably like super chubby <laughs> which there's nothing wrong with that but it's not the look I'm going for and then um what can I say mm, like working out yeah I don't go I don't go as heavy but I go I still like I still go pretty heavy I guess but not as heavy as I used to when I was when I was like um last year I guess but I still, I still eat a lot. I still work out heavy. I still go to the gym like three times a week. Um, I don't think I've changed anything besides lowering the weight when I work out. And um, oh yeah, something that I have changed that I feel like gives me that plump look, like that curvy look is uh, so back then last year when I was 120 pounds, um, something that I would never do was do a lot of reps because when you, when you um when you do like a lot of reps at the gym you start to look super like shredded or like like super tone like the i feel like almost like a body com competitor competitor what a competitor yeah like a body competitor i feel like your legs start to look like super super um defined especially with the weight that i that i use your like my body starts to look super defined so like 120 pounds it was so easy to it's like so easy to make my legs look like super like shredded well i feel like overall like your body when you do a lot of reps you start to look like shredded because you are burning fat and then you are like carrying muscle so that's practically like what happens when you do a lot of reps so i would never ever do a lot of reps but now i'm not gonna lie i feel like sometimes i feel like a little too like a little too thick for my size so when i go to the gym i start doing more reps I used to do about 8 to 12 reps per workout and now I do 25 all the way to 50 reps but I still go super heavy but the only reason why is because I'm like I'm already on my weight goal so um like if I eat a little bit too much you could tell like I look a little bit like thicker and stuff and um I personally don't like that look as much so what it does is like it, it like gives me a plump in my legs and my butt and um yeah, that's, I feel like that's the only thing that I've changed. Mm. Yeah, I think that's like pretty much it. I'm not sure if I went like super fast over it or if you guys even understood. But um, I guess what I'm trying to say is to um, stay consistent and study your body, learn your body shape. Like, um, how can I say it? It's like when you're working out and you want these kind of results it's like molding your body and it's like mix and match not everybody has the same body type even if you have a friend that's as skinny as you and she did something and her body changed the things she did 
is not gonna help you the same way, like exactly the same way because we all poop different, we all grow different, we all have different bone mass. So like all of that varies. But like I said, my body type is super tiny. I'm super short. Um, it's really hard for me to gain weight. My metabolism is like, <sighs> how can I say it? It's like super fast. And um, my weight fluctuates a lot. I don't get hungry. So like most of the time I have to force myself to eat um, and stuff like that. So if you somewhat like have the same um, kind of like sim like body type, I guess, I feel like maybe you should try it. Yeah, like I feel like the best way is to eat clean, drink your mask and your shake and go heavy at the gym. And um, yes, guys, study your body shape. And if you guys have any more questions, I literally answer everyone. If, they, if you really like... Um, if you really like have questions, please message me them and I will reply to everyone. I, I literally reply to everyone that asks me questions about gaining weight. And then um, say you've been going to the gym and you haven't seen any progress and you um, want to try something different. Like I said, I feel like you should try something like what I did my second year of working out, which was so I suggest you take creatine with protein, carb load on weekends and um, go heavy and be consistent, go three times a week. I'm telling you guys, it's not a lot. It's a little bit, only three times a week for an hour or two. You will see progress super fast if you really, really put all your your effort. And um, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I answered most of your questions. And um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, you're welcome to always message me and um, or comment. And um, yeah, guys, thank you. And um, I want to say thank you guys for following me. I just made, I just made it to 1,000, and um, I know it's not a lot, but for some reason, like I'm really happy because I never thought I could connect with like um, so many people over like trying to gain weight. Like I've, I've always felt like my entire life like it was just my problem, my insecurity. But like I come to realize that a lot of people actually they want my, they like my body. Like they want their body like theirs like even though I don't full have like even though I don't fully work out um they have the same goals they just want their legs and their butt big and and <laughs> I don't know like I guess that's how I don't make a lot of working out and fitness videos because like I feel like people think I'm weird that I only do my legs and my butt so I never really um get into it a lot unless people ask me but I think I'll start making more because I've noticed that I'm not the only one with this like um with this goal and and I feel like I could help a lot of people and we push each other and everything and I just, yeah. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and watching me and subscribing and staying subscribed even though I take so long to upload. And um, yeah guys, thank you so much for just watching my channel and I appreciate it a lot. And um, yeah guys, have a good day.